Mr. School Principal, Pomona Board Chargers, Tango Trollers, all beautiful and handsome teacher, friends, students, contestants, ladies and gentlemen, very good evening. Today, I'm very honored that I have a chance to be on this stage again in the final round and present you about my incredible topic is famous people that I'm going to talk about Mr. Jenmar. Before I go straight to my topic, I would like to explain to you my important keyword is famous. According to Oxford Dictionary, famous mean known by many people. Ladies and gentlemen, now let's move back to my topic. Allow me to tell you about the biography of Mr. Jackmar. My name of professional is Jack Mar, was born on 10 September 1964 in Heisen located at the southwestern part of China. He has an older brother and younger sister. He and his sibling grow up at a time when communist China was increasingly isolated from the West and his family did not have much money when they were young. As a teenager, he began studying English by he would write venting notes on his bicycle to give tours to any area to exchange practice English for nice year. Jack Ma has been failed his college and during exam twice, were rejected by dozens of jobs, including one FK athlete, before finding success at his third internet company, Alibaba. Jack Ma the first, very poor, everyone always looked down at him because he was born poor in communist China. But it's not a barrier to him, it makes him more stable in his life, and now he became a billionaire in China, which his net worth is $46.6 billion. More in his life is never give up. Year 2014, Jack Ma became to a minute investor, philanthropist, and an entrepreneur. He is the co-founder and included chairman of the Alibaba Group, a multinational technology conglomerate. Ladies and gentlemen, as you know, Jack Ma is a person who has a lot of miserable life story before he became a successful person. He always shared to the young learner because he thinks that the young learner are the small sticks, but when they grow up, they will be big and change the world. Also, he called their very useful meaning, and he always shared to the young learner, and he always urged them to be always struggling in their life. So, ladies and gentlemen, do you want to become a successful person or famous person as Jack Ma? Mm, if your answer is yes, that means now you are big thinking. So, if you want to go big, stop small thinking. Let's follow this many way to become a successful person as Jack Ma from Mr. Jack Ma Exploring Life. First, follow this career plan. Ma has your own career plans out. He said, join a good company when you are 20 and find a good boss how to do business then plan to do something when you are 30 years. Second, run a company. When you are 40, please do the thing that you are good and strong at. And when you are 50, please spend your time with a young person or better spend your time on bitches. Third, being a jack is not always bad. General Aware also worked the cages ago at the Four Star Hotel. After a time, he was casting well accepted and he was rejected. Reason he was less handsome in his cousin. But now his cousin still work at the hotel. And Mar, change his life. Four, the last one but not least, make your fancy idea reality. Mar spent two hours explaining his idea for internet business to 24 friends. But how 20 of them said he forgot it. There was no internet in the world. Only one person said, Jack, if you want to just try it, or if something goes wrong, just come back. He sleep on his own idea. Upon he wake up, he still want to pursue that dream again. Most of the people have a different fancy idea in the evening. But when they wake up in the morning, they forgot it at all and go to do the same thing. We have to do something different. So you have to learn, you have to work, you have to find a solution and a soul in your job to make it more developed. And also, you have to rely on the teams and yourself. Last but not least, I very respect it and like Mr. Jack Ma very much because of him, we can get a lot of brand new technology to use every day. Also, the thing that I very like things are his fault. They are very useful meaning and also, and always show us about the society life. And I think Jack Ma's very life may be the example for all of you to follow it. And also, we can use that fault to change our life to make it more and bright future. To end my presentation, I would like to have one person fault from Jack Ma. And that fault is the very important thing you should have with patience. Finally, a very thank you for ladies and gentlemen for your pay attention. Shh. And spend your valuable time to listen to my presentation. Thanks. Thank you, Ramai, for the first contestant. Okay. Uh, what three? Who is the famous people that she has presented for you? Chiang Ma, right? And what company that Chiang Ma owns? 
a little bar, right? Online shop, a little bar, okay? So now the best of time, please. Uh, 4 minutes 42. 4 minutes 42. The time is 4 minutes 42. Okay, now uh, we can turn it to our second contestant from category one. Please welcome our contestant number two all together. I would like to pay my heart and respect to school principal of Van Pum School to go campus, judges, Mr. Timekeepers, teachers, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening. Today it is my wonderful day that I can stand on the stage on the final round to compete with another presenter. And today's topic is about famous people and I have chosen the honor Messi for my topic. Before we move to the topic, I would like to show you guys the content first. Then the first content is introduction. Second, early life. Third, club career in Barcelona. The fourth, family and relationship. And the last conclusion. Before we move to introduction, I would like to ask you guys, who is he? If you know him, please raise up your hand. Okay, thank you. Yes, he is Leonel Messi. Now let's move to introduction. Leona Andres Messi, Cook City, born on 24, June 1987. He is an award, a European Golden Show. On his team, he has won La Liga, UEFA Champions League, and the last Copa del Rey. And his nice play as left foot. Now let's move to early life. This is five years old Messi when he started to play football. Leona Andres Messi, born on 24 June 1987, like I mentioned above, in, Rosa, in Rosario. The son of four children of George Messi, the steel factory manager. And his mother, Celia Cooksitini, she worked in a magnet manufacturing workshop. Now let's move to Club Kiri in Barcelona. Since 2003 and 2005, he forced with Barcelona. Messi repeatedly progressed through the third rank, departing five teams in a single compact. But can you start player Ronaldinho said to his teammate that he believed to the 16 years old player would become even better than himself. Now let's move to family and relationship. Since 2008, when he was 20, Messi has been in relationship with Atenella Rogoso. She is the cousin of his best friend since childhood, Rokan Spitlio. Messi and Rogoso have three sons, the first, Diego, born 2012, second, Matteo, born 2015, and the last, Ciro, born 2018. Diego was born in Barcelona on 2nd, 2000, 2nd November 2012, with Messi attend the bus after being given permission by Barcelona to be training. He said on his Facebook page that, I am the happiest man in the world. My son was born and thanks to God for this gift. Diego's name and handprint are tattooed on Messi left calf. And then the hand and rings around Diego's name. In April 2015, Messi, Messi missed trainings again. Atletico Madrid to attend of the second son, Matteo, on 11 September 2015. On 30 June 2017, is Mary Rogoso at Motel City Center in Rosario. 
On 10 March 2018, Messi skipped the match against Malaga after, after Ciro was born. Messi close relationship with his, his family member, particularly Celia Coxitini, who faced as a tattoo on Messi's left shoulder. And last but not least is conclusion. According to this three picture, I hope you guys know more about Lionel Messi after I show you guys my topic. And now I would like to show you guys the quote. He said that you have to fight to reach your dream. You have to sacrifice and work hard for it. And now I would like to say goodbye for your paying attention and see you guys later. Thank you. Lionel Messi, right? He's a very famous group of soccer in the world, okay? And one more, who? Do you remember who? No. Who is the Lionel Messi? He was a rival. You still know Ronaldo, right? Okay. Now, let's move to our the number three all together. Please welcome our the number three. Second, he 
equal MC Mike Fight too. He was not known as a genius and as a PCC who has discovered math and equation and he was well known one was E equal MC one five two, which is a formula of energy equal mass time span of life square. First uh, in nineteen zero in nineteen in 1930, the scientist realized that his equation E equal mc magnified to make, make an atomic bomb possible. But unsteel refrigerator, the unsteel refrigerator is an absorption refrigerator, has no moving part, and requires only a hard source to operate it. It was, on, it was invented in 1926 by Albert Einstein. Fourth quotation, he is an um, inspiring person because of his work. There are so meaningful and helping people with a mental problem. So the point as quotation and use it as an influencer. Example, if you don't understand, if you can't explain it simply, you don't understand it well enough. In my conclusion, now that I have mentioned about Albert and Steve, you might know more about him and put him as an influencer. So hopefully we could understand and continue to make this thing useful for the next generation. Thank you for your patience. Do you know Einstein? Yeah. yeah very good, okay? Okay now, <clears throat> the time is 4.45. 4.45, okay? So, uh, we should continue to our contestant number 4. Please, welcome our contestant number 4. to be able to stand here to pay my deeply respect to the school director, judges, teachers, all participants, and all students in here. Ladies and gentlemen, today I come here to present about my topic, which is famous people. And I took Mr. One Willy One to my topic, because he is my idol. Before I open my topic, I will show you my contact to all of you. And my contact, and my contact I have five main points. There is introduction, biography, Artistment, legacy, death, and conclusion. Hey guys, do you know Mr. Wan Willy Wan? And where did he from? And what artistment that he done? Mr. Wan Willy Wan is the father architect in Cambodia. During the Song Kong Review, reaching 1955 to 1920, King Norodong Sahanuk enacted the development policy encompassing the whole kingdom with the construction, infrastructure, and architecture. One was the foremost generation of architects who contributed the unique style of architect that emerged during this era has been quite new coin architecture. One was born on the November 23rd, 2023 uh, in Rio Kumpo Province. In the past, he finished graduate from Sisuat High School in Phnom Penh. He obtained a scholarship to pursue his study in the body in 1946. After one year of law, he went to the architect and returned to Cambodia in 1956. <laughs> the first fully quality in Cambodia came to put his talent to use and appointed in the public work and statement by the King Sanghanu and he was so close with the king. When the law now come or come to power and in 1928, Mr. Wang Willimang need to flee Cambodia to the Switzerland and he worked in the Switzerland in 10 years. During the, his life, he has the artist man a lot and there, and there has Chattumok Conference Hall was designed by Mr. Wang Willimang and built in, and complete in 19. Uh, 61. And the second is independent man was built in 
fit to fight to memorize independence from fight in 1953. And then, National Sport Complex was started in 1963 and complete in 1964. National Theatre of Brazil Ramnet. The theatre has born in 1994 and now no one wants to rebuild it again until now. And theatre training collection and we still use it until now too. Like I said, in, 19, to, in, in 2013, wow, he done and he won. He won the Nikai the Nikki Award in 2013. In the culture, in, in the culture category. And his work are famous such as the Independent Newsman Olympic Stadium are in the highly organized. And then, in that, now he passed away, and in the bad news that we hear it, it's so bad now. He died on 28 September 2020 at his house in Simbri province, and he has 19 years old. On my conclusion, I'm so proud of him so much because that has the father architect in the Cambodia and he saw the world what is the kingdom of wonder and saw the world what that he done that he saw the world so much thank you thank you for your listening okay, thank you uh, for the contestant number four that have that have presented Mr. Wan Milevan okay the king of my architecture okay so now, uh, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to our last contestant for the Tigari one. Please welcome him now.
Talk about my history to why I feel a student free killer and why the fraternity had to during his year to at Harvard. That began a dating in 2003 and on May 19th, so 2012, Sakaba and Tan got married and he helped two daughters. The first daughter named Martin Martin Sakaba, or you can call her with A. The second daughter named August. Now, all my beloved ladies and gentlemen, now I would like to bring all of you guys to my sport content. The first content is Facebook. On the factory for 2004, Sucker Bot Line first walked from his Harvard dormitory room. And the photo address book, which student referred to as the first book, as the first, or which student referred to as the first book. And the first book is very important for us. Uh, now, uh, and, and nowadays, Facebook has become a big guest and the most popular company with a million users around the world. Now, all my beloved ladies and gentlemen, now I would like to bring all of you guys to my conclusion. In my conclusion, all your lives, colleagues, personal life, and festival, I hope all of you will understand about this point, and I hope all of you understand about the, or know about the Max Zuckerberg, because Max Zuckerberg is the famous people around the world. And Master Global always create a new program. Let me end my presentation with one quote. That quote is the greatest success comes from the habit, freedom to fail. Thank you for your listening. Thank you. Okay, now the last one is Max Zuckerberg, right? Who remember? The first member of uh, the first member of person that your uh, friend has presented, Chema. The second one is Leo, Lionel Messi. The third one is Albert Einstein. And the fourth one is Mr. Van Milliwan. And the last one is Mr. Mark Zuckerberg. Right? Those are famous people around the world. Okay. So now our particular one is finished. And we are going to our second category from level 1, 7, 8 to 12 C. So uh, please wait for a while because we are changing the charge, okay? Uh, before we start our second category, I would like to announce our new charge is Miss Secondary Category. Uh, please welcome our contestant number one. Please welcome him. I would like to pay my high respect to Mr. Principal, Honorable Judges, Mrs. Tan Gipper, and all my beloved audience who are present here. Good evening. Today, I'm so very excited to stand here and present to all of you about one topic called Cambodia. I know we are Cambodia, but hardly all of you know about the Cambodian, like currency, religion, primary language. And now, they, and now today, I'm going to show you about all this information about the Cambodia. And I have three main points. The first is about the introduction. The second is about the Cambodia. And the last one is about the conclusion. Ladies and gentlemen, let me bring you to under another question. Where is Cambodia? Cambodia is located in the is located in Southeast Asia. The area of this country is about 181,035 square kilometers. And which, which have 25 provinces and cities. And, and the capital city of the, of the Cambodia is called Phnom Penh. And it's the picture, as you can see here, is called Wat Phnom. Wat Phnom is one of the places that is located in, in the middle of the Phnom Penh city. Phnom Penh. And nowadays, Now, nowadays, Cambodia is a small country, but there are 15 million people living in Cambodia nowadays. And in Cambodia, they use real as a currency. They have, they have from 100 real to 10,000 real. And 
His Majesty named Rodam Sayamuni. He was born on May 14, 1993. And he became the king from 2004 till now. Sometimes they Joe Hun Sai, he was born on August 5, 1952. And he became the Prime Minister from 1998 till now. Primary language Khmer is one of the primary language of the Cambodia, which have 33 alphabet. Uh, and they divide it into two parts, and each part is pronounced in different sounds. The primary religion in Cambodia have Buddhism, Islam, Christianity, and other. But Khmer people use the Buddhism, about 96.4%. And other people is Islam, Christianity, and other. And in my conclusion, I, in my conclusion, I would like to say Cambodia is one of the wonderful country which which have uh, in this in this country very small, but they but the people but the people in this country is very friendly. If you come here, you will feel you will feel welcome. And if you're an artist, you can come here and exploration of your art. Thank you. Three minute fourteen. Cambodian, right? You are Cambodian, okay? Do you know about your country? Okay, good. So now, can you continue to our second contestant? Okay, now please welcome our second contestant all together. Um, first of all, I would like to pay my heart and respect to Mr. Principal, judges, timekeepers, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. I'm here to join the competition of the final round. Do you guys know what my topic is? Well, my topic is Singapore. Before starting the competitions, I would like to show you guys all about the content first. The first contents are area, borders, and continents. The second content is population. The third content is capital city. The fourth content is president. The fifth content is currency. The sixth content is tourism site. The seventh content is economy. Last but not least is the conclusions. Ladies and gentlemen, now let's take a look at a picture of Singapore. Now, let's move to the first part of the content, area, border, and continent. Well, in the total area of Singapore was 721.5 km square. And about the Malaysia-Singapore border is an international maritime border between the Southeast Asians, which lie down to the north, and Singapore to the south. Ladies and gentlemen, now let's move to the continent of Singapore. It is composed of main islands as well as 62 smaller islands in the Asia shore portions of a continent in Asia. Ladies and gentlemen, now let's move to the population. In the estimate of population in 2010 was 5.077 million people. Compare those to the estimate of population in 2017 was 5,061,000 and people. Ladies and gentlemen, now let's move to the capital city. As a city state, Singapore is both the country and its capital. Now let's move to the president. In 2017, the president of Singapore was Halima Yaakob. He was born on 23 August 1954. And about the prime minister of Singapore was Lee Sin Jong. He was born on 10 February 1952. Ladies and gentlemen, now let's move to the currency. Do you guys know the currency of Singapore is? Well, let me tell you, the currency of Singapore is dollars. One dollar is equal to 4,100 bills in Cambodian money. One dollar is equal to 40 baht in Thai money. One dollar is equal to 40,000 dollars in Vietnam money. Ladies and gentlemen, now let's move to the tourism side. The first tourism side that I'm going to tell you is about the Malayan case. When you're in the vicinity of a Malayan park, it's hard to miss out the iconic symbol regarded as the pride of Singapore. Malayan status is standing at a height of 28 feet with a lion head and a fish body. Ladies and gentlemen, now let's move to the Sentosa Island. Singapore is an exactly known as a bad destination, but if you're really coming some fun in the sand, Sentosa Island is a place where you can find it. 
Visitor can play volleyball on three courts, kayaking and skimboarding. A must-see on Sentosa Island is the Marine Sentos. It is the Singapore famous status that has a lion head with a fish body. Ladies and gentlemen, now let's move to the economy. The GDP per capita of Singapore in 2017 was $57,714. Do you guys know the full meaning of GDP is? Well, let me tell you. G is stand for gross, D is stand for domestic, and P is stand for product. So the full meaning of GDP was gross domestic products. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, now let's move to the last part of the presentation. Conclusion. Let me conclude this presentation. I only take two or three parts of the content to summarize, such as area, population, and tourism site. Well, in the total area of Singapore was 721.5 km squares, and about the estimates of populations in 2017 was 5,061,200 people. And about the tourism site that I have already mentioned is the Malayan Kings and the uh, uh, Sentosa Islands. Uh, after listening to this presentation, I hope you guys all want to visit Singapore someday. For me, myself, I really want to visit Singapore. Thank you for paying your high attention to my presentation. Thank you. Singapore, right? After listening to this, I think uh, you have some idea already about Singapore. Uh, I have shared some, I want to share one, one point. You know, Singapore country means what? Singa. Singa and Pura. Singa means lion. And Pura means city. So mean the city of lion. Lion. Okay. So now, ladies and gentlemen, please, uh, please move to our third contestant. Okay. For the second category. All together. First of all, I would like to pay my highly respect to honor of our judges, teachers, time controller, and all my beloved audience here. Good evening. Today, I'm so really pleased that I can join the slideshow presentation. And I'm here to present about one country, which is France. To make sure you know more clearly about France, I have six content to get all of you. My first content is introduction, second, location, third, capitality, fourth, population, Big history and the last content is conclusion. Now let's move to my first content. My first content is introduction. As you know that France is one of the most beautiful country, which is the largest nation in Western Europe. Also a presidential republic, France is a very important nation in Europe and is continue to be involved in contemporary policy issues. It must be that. Let's move to my second content. My second content is Location. France located in the continent of Europe and it shares the border with a country which is Germany, Italy, Switzerland, Andorra, Belgium, Lutz, Monaco and Spain. Now let's move. France covers by six hundred France covers by six hundred forty thousand four hundred and twenty square square kilometer of land and three thousand three hundred 24 square kilometer of water, and that's what makes it the fourth third largest nation in the world. With total areas 643,801 square kilometer of areas. Now let's move to my second town. My second town is the capital city of France is Paris. As you can see, there is the capital city. It's Paris, which is a beautiful and popular city. Move on to the population. It has a population of 2,138,551. Their official and national language is French. Now let's move to my fifth content. My fifth content is history. The first writing record for the history of France appeared in the Iron Age. What is now? France made up the book of origin known to the Roman as well. In the later state, Franks made of the Roman state of Roman Empire Gaul were subjects by barbarian raid and migration, most importantly by Germanic Franks. Let's move to my last content. My, my last content is conclusion. As 
as you can see, there is something to love more, uh, more, more throughout of the country, which is a beautiful. Uh, it is truly the place to be no matter who you are. Men and women, teens and children, of all age enjoy coming to friends and experiencing things that can be found now here as something in the world. Whether you are looking for mountain, lake, history, sandy beach or something else, Frank certainly has something to offer to everyone. Thank you for paying attention. Goodbye. What, what country? France, right? And what is the capital of uh, France? Paris. Yeah, Paris, okay. Do you want to go to France? Yeah, save money and go there, okay? So now, the trip, we will take one trip to France, okay? In the, in the near future, okay? So now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to our last contestant for this category all together. Please welcome our last contestant all together quickly. Who? Where? Yay! <laughs> okay, please welcome her now. To begin my speech, I would like to pay my high respect to the school principal, my school, oh, I'm sorry, uh, honorable judges, timekeeper, beloved teacher, contestant, and all the respectful audience. Good evening. Today, I am very excited to stand here to present all of you about one of the world's largest continent in the world. That is about the United States of America. Ladies and gentlemen, do you know the United States of America? Well, I guess some of you had already know the United States of America, but no, but a few of you don't know it. So, ladies and gentlemen, let me show you my content. The, I have nine main points in my content. They are flag, president, geography, language, population, government and politics, government finance, culture and conclusion. The United States flag has 50 stars and 13 stripes. The stars are white and are located in the veil of blue. The stripes are horizontal and are red and white. Seven of them are red and six of them are white. The flag was adopted in 1777 during the American War of Independence. Nowadays, the President of the United States are, is Donald Trump. Donald Trump is the 45th President of the United States. He won the election in 2016 and became the President in 2017. He has three wives and five children. The land area of the entire United States is approximately 3,800,000 square miles. It is one of the world's third or fourth largest nations, ranking behind Russia and Canada and just above or below China. In 2010, about 230 million or 80% or 79% of the population aged from 5 years old and older spoke only English at home. Some Americans advocate making English their official language as it is in 32 states. 18% of all Americans claim to speak at least one language in addition to English. By 2017, the U.S. population was 325.7 million. The American is the world's oldest surviving federation. It is a representative democracy in which majority rule is tempered by minority rights protected by law. In the American federalist system, citizens are usually subject to three levels of government, federal, state, and local. Taxes in the United States are levied at the federal, state, and local government levels. It is one of the only two countries in the world that taxes its citizens no matter where they reside in the world. The total national debt of the United States was $18.527 trillion in 2014. Culture. The United States is home to many cultures, traditions, and values. More recent immigration from Asia, and especially Latin Americans, has added to a cultural mix that has been described as both a homogenizing melting pot and a heterogeneous salad bowl, in which immigrants and their descendants retain distinctive cultural characteristics. In conclusion, I really admire the United States country because it is a very modern and enormous country. It is home to many cultures and traditions. It is the world's oldest surviving federation and it is a very powerful country. To sum up, I really hope that you will learn something new about the United States countries from my presentation. Thank you.
kind of the last country is America. Is United States of America, right? Okay. And who is the the present president of USA? Donald Trump. Oh, Donald Trump, right? Okay, Donald Trump. So uh, now we are going to our exciting time that we are waiting for our result. Okay. So please give us around two or three minutes to calculate the result for all of you. Okay? So you can enjoy the